Hi guys. So today we're going to make memo boards. They're just an easy way to stay organized. I use mine to hold my coupons and I keep it by the front door so I don't forget about them. We're going to be making three different styles two si and two different sizes. The smaller sizes are two feet by four inches and the larger one is three feet by four inches. I use spray paint to spray to paint the boards and the clothespins. I'll have more de a more detailed description in the description box below. I hope you guys enjoy this video and if you want to learn how to make your own memo board, just keep watching. I already painted my clothespins and this color pink was just a little too bright so I ended up sanding it down a little bit. Now I'm going to take this floral ribbon and just use hot glue to tack it down. I use my mason jar full of glue sticks to press the ribbon down so that I don't burn my hand but so that the ribbon does stay flat against the board. So next we're just going to take this small gold ribbon and put one on each side of the floral ribbon just to give it a little bit of a pop. I thought it needed a little even more of a pop, so I added this looped pink ribbon to the clips and I just tied a bow around it and fashioned them to the clips like that. Now I'm going to take the three clips and glue them down with my hot glue. I did just eyeball the spacing, but if you want to, you can use a measuring tape and measure them out so that they're perfectly spaced. After that, I just fashioned a hanger on the back with some thin twine by double knotting each end and then stapling it down. There we are, we have our floral pistachio memo board, all ready to go. Next up, we're making our boho memo board. I painted my clips white and I'm going to sand these down just to give it more of a relaxed look. I do try to show you what they look like sanded down, but I'm not sure the camera picks it up that well. So you're basically just going to sand down the very outside edges. Now we're putting this woven lace ribbon and I'm not going to glue it down because it has open spaces and I don't want the glue to seep through. So I just used my staple gun and just made sure that it was tight in the front. Then I glued down the corners in the back with hot glue.
Next, I used this smaller hairy gold and white ribbon and I just glued the ends down on the back and then just wrapped it sporadically around the front. After doing that to both sides, I'm going to hot glue the clips down just like I did before. I'm just eyeballing them, but feel free to measure if you want to do that. So now we just need to make our hanger for the back, and I'll just fasten that with my staple gun like I did before. I made two little knots on each side, as you can see. Our boho memo board is complete and I really love the way that it came out. For our third style, we're going beachy. I torched these clips and I'm not going to sand them like I did with the others, so I just put those aside and now I'm gonna attach the frayed burlap ribbon in the same way that I did with the lace because it has spaces where the hot glue can seep out, so I don't wanna put that on the front. I just stapled it down tightly in the back and glued the corners. Next, we're going to attach this nautical rope, and it's really thick, so I'm not gonna use any hot glue. I'm just gonna use a stapler, and I'll just staple each end. I'll wrap it around three times in the front, and then staple the other end onto the back. I also added a few more staples just to keep it in place. Look at my dog yawning over there. For the hanger, I'm gonna do the same steps as I did before with the knots and the staples. Sorry, I know this video is a little bit repetitive. For the larger memo board, I did measure out the spacing between the clips because it was a little bit longer and I wanted them to be evenly distributed. So now I'm just gonna take my glue gun and hot glue them down where I measured them out to be. And I'm just using my scissors to make sure there's no glue peeking out on the side. Once you get those on with the hot glue gun, you have an extra large memo board ready to go. I hope you like this video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up or comment down below. Also, if you like my DIY videos or just DIY videos in general, please subscribe to my channel and I wanna thank you guys so much for watching.